Believe it or not, if we go back 35 or 40 million years, there were corals living in southern England. Contained in these layers of rock, we have the history of this place over the last 30 to 60 million years. And it, it contains all the records of the plants and the animals and the different environments that were here during this time. So the analogy has been used reading the geological record, the rocks, is like looking at pages in a book. Every once in a while, winter storms uncover fossils of the animals that lived and thrived here millions of years ago. And it was here on this beach in the Isle of Wight that a fossil expert found some of the earliest evidence of a coral that today is one of the most important in the world, Acropora. And here are some specimens of Acropora from the Isle of Wight that are in our museum collections. And these are Acropora from 35 million years ago. Not much of a specimen, but it shows that these corals were living in, in southern England uh, at that time. Acropora, or staghorn coral, is the most successful coral in the world today. But it hasn't always been, and that's why we're looking into the fossil record to understand why it's so abundant now. We know that sea levels have changed dramatically over the last few million years, the exact same period that Acropora has thrived. Is this a coincidence or is there a connection? The reason Acropora is so special is because it's able to grow very, very quickly. And the reason it's able to do this is because it's evolved a mechanism by which the polyps on the sides of a branch give all of their food to the polyp at the very tip. And because that polyp doesn't bother with anything but growing, it's able to just grow, grow, grow. It grows very, very fast, maybe 10 times as fast as other types of corals. It's like a weed among the coral species. And not only that, when they die, their skeletons provide a base for new generations of Acropora and other slower growing corals to build on. So this means that when sea levels are rising, the reef can grow quickly and keep up with the light. So this one kind of coral, Acropora, is really key to the survival of entire reefs. But conditions in the ocean are changing, and on most reefs, Acropora is in trouble. And Acropora seems to be very, very sensitive to human-caused environmental changes, which have become more intense in the f past few decades. In the Caribbean alone, Acropora is dying back nearly everywhere. Up to 98% has completely disappeared. If Acropora is gone on modern reefs, and as we predict, there will be increasing sea level in the next centuries to millennia, the reefs may not be able to keep up with these sea level rises and will drown. Acropora has been around for a very long time. We see in the fossil record examples of it from 40 million years ago. So as a group, it's been surviving for a very long time. And to think that just in a few decades that, that we've impacted this important coral so severely in so many different places, it, it's, um, it's a not good situation.